Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be talking about absolute value. So absolute value is a number's distance from zero. Make sure you have this note sheet so you can fill this in with me. So think about it, if we have a number line and we have zero and we have negative eight and positive eight, the distance is eight, the distance is eight. So the absolute value will always be a positive number because distance is always positive. So eight is eight away from zero, negative eight is also eight away from zero. So these straight bars that go on either side of the number are called absolute value bars. So for this one, what is the absolute value of negative 56? Well, how far is negative 56 from zero? It is 56. The absolute value of 34, how far away is 34 from zero? It is 34. Try the next two on your own and then come back and check it. So the absolute value of 78 is 78. It's 78 away from zero. The absolute value of negative 13 is 13 because it's 13 away from zero. So those are all going to be positive because it's just the number inside of the absolute value bar. Where this one's a little bit different, it says write the opposite of the absolute value bar. Absolute value. So see how we have this example up here. Let's say I put four in this box. So what I always do is I do the absolute value of four, which would be four. It's four away from zero. And then the opposite of four gives me negative four. Okay, so start with the absolute value, make sure everything um, is handled inside the absolute value bars so it becomes positive, and then you'll do the opposite of that. So, oh, this is the example right here. So we have four, the absolute value of four is four, the opposite of that is negative four. The next one, the absolute value, or the opposite of the absolute value of negative 23 is going to be positive 23, then we're going to take the opposite of that, which would be negative 23. The next one is the opposite of the absolute value of 12. So think about it, the absolute value of 12 is 12. The opposite of that is negative 12. The last one is the opposite of the absolute value of negative 450. The absolute value of four, negative 450 is positive 450. And then the opposite of that is back to negative 450. So let's look at this question. Why are all the answers negative? Go ahead and pause the video and take a second and think about why did all the answers become negative? So for this one, because they're all opposite. So remember, absolute value will always make it positive, no matter what. So everything in the absolute value will always make it positive, and having one absolute value sign on the outside will make it back to negative. So make sure you put that into a complete sentence and um, fill in on your packet that you've done the video lesson and then go ahead and start the practice.